There are few things that God loves more than charity. It's all over the Bible. We are constantly reminded, asked, and pleaded with to be charitable. God promises us riches if we give to others. He tells us that charity will save lives, heal, repair, grant repentance, and bring redemption. What is it about charity that God loves so much? Let me tell you a story. One Sunday morning, my wife came downstairs with that look on her face. You know the, we have a ton of errands due today, so don't get too comfortable look? I hate that look. Before I could react, she starts rattling off a long to-do list. This store and that store, supermarkets, clothing stores, department stores, we're buying, checking, returning, trying things on. My head is spinning. I need to think fast. I offered to take the local stores and as a deal sweetener, take my oldest son. Okay, yes. Me and my son jump in the car and start our journey. Halfway through, my son comes up with a brilliant idea. Each time we're at the cash register, he says as cutely as possible, Daddy, can I please have the change? How could I say no to that? By the time we're done, he has two dollars in change in his pocket. He was rich. For all our hard work, I took the family to the pizza store for dinner. My son gobbled down his slice and made a beeline for the gumball machine. He pulled out a quarter, turned that little wheel, and got his gumball. He came back to the table chewing on something bigger than his mouth, but he smiled widely. Now, after my son and I have twin girls, they saw their brother turn to me and said, or more like fetched in unison, Daddy, we want to. Sure, give me a minute and I'll go to the car to get changed. Please, Daddy, we need gumballs. We need it now. Of course you do. As I head for the door, I notice something. My son was by the gumball machine, buying two more gumballs. He walked back to the table and handed one to each of his sisters. I was shocked, but so happy. While I know it's my job to give the girls, there is something incredible about watching your child feel for his siblings and reach into his pocket to take care of them. Few things give parents more pleasure than when their children take care of each other. Why? Because being a parent means living your life with the ideals of giving to your children. When you see your children embody these ideals, you feel like you've succeeded. The children are getting it. All that we have and all that we are, we owe to God. He has given us and continuously gives us everything. But sometimes, some of his children have more than others. We look over and see our brothers and sisters in pain. They want to. And then we choose. To look the other way, keep chewing on our gumball and pretend we don't hear them or that daddy's gonna take care of it. Or take out the coins that he gave us and use it in part to help them out. You see, if we choose the latter, then God gets such pleasure that his children are taking care of each other. We've got the message. We're living with his ideals. We've learned the principles he's been trying to teach us. Charity gets God to give us forgiveness, wealth, health, and all good. Why? Because parents only hold things back from their kids to teach them something, to educate them and not spoil them. Once they see their children embody their ideals and get it, there's no reason to hold anything back. Charity, God says, is what it's all about. That's what I stand for, giving, taking care of others, feeling someone else's pain, and that's what I want you to become, a giver, compassionate and caring. When we understand that our life's goal is not to accumulate the resources that he gives us, but to use it to take care of others, he sees that we got the message, are living with his ideals, and holds nothing back.